Hi, I'm Colin Fastnage from the Four in Hand in Paddington. Welcome to Chef Masterclasses. Today I'm cooking with Lilydale chicken. My dish is a ginger chicken with carrot juice and grilled legs. So basically for this dish, I'm going to be using the breasts and the general wing area. Then I'm just going to cut along. So then I'm just going to pop my legs. And very carefully cut them off. I'm just going to take the uh, crown off the bone. So you just snap that. So you're just going to trim around the flesh. And then you just give your, your bone a little tap just to crack it. And then you just pull and you get a clean bone. Next we're going to take out the wishbone because you take out the wishbone so you don't, when you're carving, you don't lose too much flesh. You just pull that out with your fingers. There you go. So that's my chicken prepped and ready to go. At the restaurant we backpack our chickens. So basically if you don't have a backpacker, there's a simple way to do it. We've got some chicken stock. So just to cover the chicken, we got some ginger. No need to peel it. Just you're just infusing the stock, so that goes in. Uh, bay leaf, some garlic. So you're just making a really flavoursome ginger stock. Uh, some salt, pepper, splash of olive oil. And marjoram, I'm liking marjoram at this time of the year. It's probably not very Asian, but it's Irish Asian. So that, you bring that to the boil, and basically you just drop your chicken in, take it off the heat, and leave it for 20 minutes. Just gently poaching. The whole idea is, is gentle poach. So I've got my carrot. I've got some fresh ginger. I've got some marjoram and I'm going to bind it together with a small amount of chicken stock so that it all goes in the blender. A little bit of seasoning. So all you're going to do now is strain this juice through a fine strainer. So there you go, you got your fresh carrot, ginger, marjoram juice. Okay, so the garnish for uh, our chicken, we got some whitlof or chicory, which is basically blanched in some lemon water. So your dish should have also its flavours, it should have textures as well. So for texture we've got pumpkin, and as well as that we've got some uh, beautiful spring leeks. So I'll start off with the pumpkin, because it takes longest to cook. My Whitloff, which I've blanched, I'm just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of sugar. So basically that just gets gently fried. Just add a little knob of butter. Fresh thyme. As you can see, your Whitloff is just getting a nice golden brown colour. Just going to caramelise some leeks. You see the way you've got that nice colour now, that's the sugar in your leeks. All right, so we've got a beautiful, nice caramelization on the leeks. So I'm gonna add flavor. So that's our three garnishes, our roast pumpkin, our caramelized Whitloff, and our grilled leeks. All right, so my chicken's been poaching for half an hour. All I've got to do now is take my chicken off the bone. Run along the backbone. All right, so it's a little bit pink, but that's ideal because you don't want it over. You know, you can't go back. You can go forward, but you can't go back. So what I've got here is my stock that I've poached my chicken in. So now I'm just going to trim my chicken up for presentation. So you can see how, how moist that is. That's what you're looking for. We're just going to finish cooking our chicken in the stock. So basically you've got all that beautiful ginger flavor and you're just trying to get it inside your chicken, inside all the crevices. Just drain off any excess, excess liquid. And you're just looking for a nice caramelization, not too long in the pan, because the chicken's already cooked. Seasoning. A little shake. 
So you can start to get a nice colour. So just to help caramelise the chicken, it's going to add a little knob of butter. Some of the marjoram. There you go, it's starting to get that beautiful crispness. Alright, so we're just removing that chicken from the pan. Careful not to burn your fingers. Alright, for presentation, I'm just going to cut my chicken in three. So, the skin we'll use as a garnish, crispy skin. So, what we usually do is just cut on the angle. And then there's your little fillet in here as well, we use that. And then your chicken we cut in two. You've got your ginger marinade here, so basically you just want to coat it in the marinade. I'm just going to gently warm my carrot and ginger stock. Look at the colour of that. It's like a breakfast juice. So to this, I'm going to add, this is basically some butter and some of the marjoram we had earlier on. So we softened the butter and basically chopped the marjoram into the butter. And you want to keep that beautiful orange colour. So you're just gently warming the sauce. All sauces in the four in hand, we add a little squeeze of lemon juice. It just helps lift the actual sauce. So if you're at home, when you make the sauce, if you taste the sauce before the lemon and then taste after, it's like two different sauces. As well as that, I've got some beautiful fennel, which is in season. So the whole dish is about, obviously, colour, there's flavour, the chicken's nice and moist, but we also want some crunch and texture, and that's what the fennel's for. We've got our beautiful poached chicken. You've got your skin. You got some of your pumpkin. We got our Whitloff, which is nice and bitter. You got our uh, caramelized leeks. And then the sauce just sort of brings the whole dish together, sort of livens it up. Some beautiful uh, shiso, which adds a little bit of pepperiness to the dish. little splash of olive oil, which offs offsets the sauce. And that's my take on Irish uh, ginger chicken. <laughs>